What up everybody, this is B. Young at B. Young Be Fit, and today I'm here to talk to you about the five most common mistakes that people make in outdoor boot camps. B. Young Be Fit, it's a lifestyle. None of it is lit, we run and we live, and we train with a purpose, be young and be fit. This is a really special video, and I decided to make this video because I run outdoor boot camps all the time, and there's a couple common mistakes that people make. Today I'm gonna teach you five techniques that will help you do the exercises more efficiently and avoid injury. The first exercise that I'm gonna demonstrate is a sled pull. Now I, I use something that I call an alligator, but a lot of you may have done this before with a prowler, a sled, even some weights, anything where you're pulling backwards. It's the same exercise, don't worry. So on this exercise, what I wanna do is I wanna use my legs. I'm gonna sit down in the chair, my back straight, and I'm just gonna drive my legs. Short, choppy steps, as fast as I can, keeping good posture. And I'm just gonna drive. Some of the most common mistakes that I see on a sled pull is not using your legs efficiently. People are too high, they don't sit down in the chair. Also, they tend to round their shoulders forward, and when they're pulling, they're pulling with their back. So make sure that you keep a good back position and sit down in the chair so you can use your legs. The second exercise that I'm gonna to demonstrate today is a tire flip. Tire flips are pretty common in every boot camp. Don't, be, don't get caught up on the big tire. The tire flip is just like a deadlift. So we're gonna start with our hips under our shoulders. You wanna stay close to the tire and use your hips, push them forward as you flip the tire. Again, deep breath. Think about deadlift. Deep breath in, engage the core, push the hips forward. One of the most common mistakes that people make here is they get too much distance between them and the tire. So what they'll do is they'll get down here and they'll push their hips away. This is gonna dump right into your back and if you don't have the upper body strength, you're gonna really hurt yourself. So remember, stay close to the tire, get underneath it, and get it forward. The third exercise that we're gonna talk about is a log carry. The log carry is all about preparation. The actual carry part of this exercise is the easy part. So first thing, you wanna make sure that you're standing the log up. It might seem like common sense, but a lot of times people try to pick it up from the floor. So we're gonna start with the log standing up. Next thing we're gonna do is find the tipping point. So I wanna get down in a squat until I feel the log roll onto my shoulder. Once I'm here, I'm good to just stand up in the squat. And then we're gonna walk. Good posture here, focusing on keeping the weight loaded on the shoulder. When I'm ready, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna set it down in the squat, bring it down to the ground. That's the way you do a log carry without hurting yourself. The fourth outdoor boot camp exercise is sledgehammers. Now, not every boot camp has this, but I incorporate this in every class. And the, te the technique to learn on this is using the high handle. When you swing the sledgehammer, you wanna make sure you're not swinging by holding on the low handle here. You have no control. You're gonna hit yourself in the shins or even worse. So don't try to swing it from here. Put your hand on the high handle. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna use an elliptical motion. Pass the hip over the shoulders and then slam it down. All right, at full speed it will look like this. Now, I'm doing a right arm swing or a right side swing. If you get really good, you can actually alternate which sides you go by catching it off the bounce. This is what it looks like. Alternating sides, left side, right side. Just remember, use the high handle, don't hurt yourself. The fifth exercise that I'm gonna talk about are sled sprints. So this exercise is all about efficiency, guys. The first thing that you wanna make sure is that there's always tension on this rope. A common mistake that I see people make is they start with all this slack, they start running, and bam, they get hit with whiplash. All right, so make sure you got tension on the rope before you start. I'm gonna slightly lean forward, and then I'm gonna drive my arms. I use my arms for power and to generate speed. A common mistake, again, is that people don't use their arm swing. They're not leaning forward, they stand up too straight, and they think about just using their legs by walking like this. 
you want to generate power with your arms. Even if you're just power walking, you'll move this sled if you use your arm drive. Thank you for watching our video today, FitFam. I hope that you can learn and incorporate some of these techniques for outdoor boot camp exercises and learn how to do them more efficiently and injury free. Again, help us by giving us feedback. Let us know fitness topics that you want to learn more about. We're just here to help you live a happier and healthier life.